Hi, this is Elizabeth Griffin, your indie author from South Philadelphia. It has been a long while uh, since I recorded, uh, but I wanted to talk briefly about dark romances. Uh, I've been fascinated with reading uh, dark romances, uh, and I just wanted to give my share my intake and how I feel about them. So I find them exciting. I find them uh, to be a little bit um, naughty and a little uh, outside of the, the range of like typical romances. Uh, there's usually a, a bit of um, uh, unusual sexual activities in these type of books. Uh, some could be uh, bondage, discipline on a mild level or some could be like uh, submissive uh, type of behavior on the woman's part. Uh, but, and it's playful. It's like you're in a world that is safe uh, from harm and you can experiment and uh, you can enjoy this type of uh, romantic activity. Uh, for those of you who don't know what dark romances are, they're usually the type of romance that doesn't necessarily have uh, a, a happily ever after type of uh, ending. It could be an ending that uh, suggests a long-term a long-term relationship with uh, the couples, but it, it also is um, the stories can be rooted in um, uh, the type of behavior uh, that people will exhibit that are um, in unhealthy situations. Um, and what I'm saying is they're not your typical sweet heroine and your typical uh, hero that is, um, he is uh, altruistic and he is kind and loving. Usually these characters have like a dark side to them. They are either tortured or tormented type of souls. And uh, what I like about these type of books is that even though they're uh, your uh, atypical hero and heroine, they uh, present you with a romantic love story that uh, is sometimes scary and sometimes you don't understand their attraction to each other and sometimes you question uh, the way they treat each other and it's nothing extremely abusive, it's just suggestive on some levels. But I find those type of romances interesting and as I said, it's just escapism. It's not uh, the type of uh, relationship that you would willingly go into but for a couple of hours of uh, escapism it's it's a nice it's a nice uh, turn pager so in saying that I'm working on a book called The Good Husband and uh, I would consider that somewhat of a dark romance because the male character uh, married his wife uh, after being blackmailed by the father-in-law. So there is a darkness there because he uh, doesn't really believe in love. He doesn't believe that um, happily ever afters really exist. So he's married to a woman who is the exact opposite of him. And so you're going to see a little dark um, romance in there. But uh, and it'll give me a chance to try out this new type of writing because I haven't written dark romances before. So this will be my first, but I've read some and I really, really, truly enjoyed them. So this is my take on dark romances. Um, please follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Give me some uh, t book titles that you enjoy as far as uh, dark romances and give me your take on the subject as well. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It is Friday and I am off and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day but I just wanted to stop and make a video because like I said it's been a while. So love, peace, and joy as always and please enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.